With good news for today from Baptist Press, I'm Brandon Porter. The number of new Christians in Georgia grew by another 19 in revival services earlier this month at Pineland Baptist Church in Thomasville, Georgia. The new converts join hundreds of other Georgians who have made professions of faith in recent weeks what denominational leaders hope is the beginning of a widespread spiritual awakening. In early April in Mount Vernon, Georgia, college students, about 20 of them, made decisions for Christ at Bruton Parker College in a chapel service. Three days before that, 102 Columbus, Georgia residents reportedly came to faith to Christ during an evangelistic outreach in what is one of Georgia's toughest neighborhoods. Associational missionary Jimmy Blanton said he had been heartbroken by surveys that showed fewer than 10% of people living in the 31907 zip code attend any area a church, an indicator that perhaps 90% of residents there are spiritually lost. Similar reports have come from Moultrie and Woodstock, where churches have reported tremendous numbers of people coming to faith in Jesus Christ. Christians in Mozambique are facing increased attacks as Islamic terrorist groups are aggressively moving against them, according to the Voice of the Martyrs. Radical Islamicists have killed nearly 3,000 and displaced more than 800,000 Christians and moderate Muslims in recent years. In the report, VOM said Cabo Delgado is the focal point. That's where the Christian population has grown by 40 percent since 2017. VOM cites an influx of Christians working in Cabo Delgado and growing conversions among Muslims. Good news for today is made possible through our friends at The Voice of the Martyrs, a nonprofit organization that serves persecuted Christians around the world. Founded in 1967 by Richard and Sabina Wormbrand, VOM is dedicated to inspiring believers to deepen their commitment to Christ and to fulfill His Great Commission, no matter the cost. Find out more and sign up for their free monthly magazine at vom.org slash goodnews. Most people complete the Bible study experiencing God in about 12 weeks. Longtime friends Deborah White and Paula Kaufman have camped out in the popular workbook for more than two decades. Based in Peoria, Illinois, White says the resource has been a help as she and her husband have moved 32 times over the years because of the nature of his work. White and Kaufman are just two of millions of people around the world who have resonated with the message of experiencing God. It was first published in October 1990 by Lifeway Christian Resources. A study by Henry Blackaby and Claude King promotes a God-centered way of life that helps people know God intimately, recognizing His voice and understanding His will for their lives. You can read the full story and many more at baptistpress.com. Thanks for listening to Good News for Today.